What specifically were you involved with, or responsible for, with respect to the N120 that the Conconis purchased? Producing the owner's manual for that boat. Okay. Anything other than that? No. Were you involved in any way with the delivery of the N120 from China to Canada? Yes. How? I was aboard the boats for the sole purpose of creating the owner's manual during the passage of the boat. Was the N120 complete when you saw it? Yes. Were there any unfinished items or systems on the N120 at the time you saw it? I'll have to, I guess, elaborate. I mean, the definition of the word complete, it was not 100% commissioned, to my knowledge. There were systems left to commission, which was the understanding once the boat was in place uh, in Canada. So that's my, I guess my more complete answer to that question. Okay. There were some things left to be addressed. Do you recall what those things were? The two that I recall would be the um, diesel furnace heating system and the sewage treatment system. Any others? Not that I recall. Did Trevor Smith ever talk to you about what was supposed to occur when the vessel arrived in Canada? No. Okay. Who talked to you about um, finishing the commissioning process in Canada? The, my understanding was based on brief conversations was that the systems, the two that I mentioned, and kind of just a general knowledge of, of how it's done with boats is the commissioning is finished when it's possible to do that. The, the items that were left unfinished could not be finished while the boat was in operation going across the ocean, so it was scheduled to be finished when it arrived. In Canada. With respect to you writing the owner's manual for the N120 during the voyage from Hong Kong to Canada, uh, what specifically did that entail? Inspections of the systems on the boat, reconciling the inspections with the design documents, and then placing the information on descriptions of the system, in many cases operations of certain components within the system into our owner's manual. Did the vessel have any operational issues during the crossing from Hong Kong to Canada? Just one that I recall. And what was that? The fuel oil centrifuge became inoperable. How many hours would you estimate you worked on the manual on a daily basis? 12 hours. And of the 12 hours you would work on a daily basis, how many of those were drafting the document? Was it, would you consider that all drafting? Yes, I would. Did you ever take anybody with you to go look at uh, systems when you were inspecting them or viewing them or whatever you just described? I did not know. Do you know if any systems were commissioned during the voyage between Hong Kong and Canada? I don't recall that any were commissioned during the voyage. Did you demonstrate any of the N120 systems to Mr. Conconi? No. Do you know if anyone else was demonstrating systems to Mr. Conconi during the voyage? No. Did you see anybody do any demonstration whatsoever, any system of the N120 during the voyage? No. Okay, I'm going to mark and identify as exhibit 146, the next exhibit in order, a copy of a document titled the N120 Owner's Manual. And I'll hand the court reporter a copy and you a copy also. And counsel a copy. <coughs> first question I have is, do you recognize Exhibit 146? Yes. What is it? The owner's manual for the N120. Okay. Does uh, Exhibit 146 appear to be a true and correct copy of the document you just identified? Yes. Is Exhibit 146 the document you created during the N120's voyage from China or Hong Kong to Canada? Yes. And with respect to the operations, would you actually go and do um, what you're describing in the manual? No. 
So, um, and back to the operational section of each individual section within the manual. So again, as an example, section 2.2's operational portion. Um, you didn't actually run through the steps that you created for the manual, is that correct? It, within the system is what I'm asking. Physically go and manipulate everything that correct. I described doing. Correct. No. Um, okay, does that apply to each of the systems that are listed within Exhibit 146? Yes. And do you know if after the document was written within Exhibit 146, uh, if anybody ran through the steps that you had created uh, to test whether these were accurate? No. Okay, but again, nobody actually, you, you're not aware of anybody who actually walked through him with the systems with Mr. Kinconi, are you? No. I'm going to mark and identify as Exhibit 147. A copy of an email from Trevor Smith dated January 13, 2014, just Bates numbered PAE 010290 to 01292. And I'll ask you to review it. And my first question will be Do you recognize Exhibit 147? I have a. Um I do remember this email. Okay. Yes. And what is Exhibit 147? An email, an email about the operation of the lube oil transfer pumps and fuel oil transfer pumps. Okay. Is ex and you were CC'd on this email that's contained within Exhibit 147, correct? Yes. Okay. And does Exhibit 147 appear to be a true and correct copy of the document you just identified? Yes. And what is Exhibit 147? An email, an email about the operation of the lube oil transfer pumps and fuel oil transfer pumps. I'd just like to draw your attention to the second paragraph of Mark's email about midway down the page on the first page of Exhibit 147 where it says, how do we get new oil in to the new oil tank and the dirty oil out? Do you see that? Yes. Um, did, do you know if anybody demonstrated how to do that? to Mr. Kinconi? No. Okay. Was this within the owner's manual that's contained within exhibit well, 146? To the best of my knowledge, yes. Okay. Did you, at any point, did it, it appears that Trevor Smith has uh, replied in the red portion of the exhibit. Do you see that? Yes. And, and is that correct as far as your understanding goes? That that's Trevor Smith replying in red. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, and on that same paragraph, Trevor Smith writes, "If the owner's manual does not cover how to do this, we will add it to the manual." Do you see that? Yes. Have we ever approached by anybody at PAE to add this portion to the owner's manual? Not to my recollection. Did any? Did you review the owner's manual after you saw this email? I don't remember if I did, but I expect that I would have. Okay. Do you recall explaining how to do this to Mr. Kinconi when you were developing the owner's manual? No. With respect to the systems that weren't commissioned that you've mentioned already uh, during the vessel's voyage from China to Canada, uh, do you know when those systems were commissioned? No. Do you know whether those systems were demonstrated to Mr. Kinconi at any time? No. Do you know how many systems still remain to be commissioned other than the ones you've mentioned um, when the vessel arrived in Canada? No.